were learning that there's a different psychographic need. We talked a little bit about this last year, but it seems even clearer today. That there's a different psychographic need for why players play free-to-play games versus why they gamble with real money. Um, and that they're separate things. People who play free-to-play, they want to be sitting on their couch in a casual environment. They want to be playing the games that they enjoy playing. Um, and are doing it for fun and are doing it for entertainment experience. They're mass market entertainment. Um, and we compete with things like music and movies and that sort of thing. Um, so social casinos continue to evolve and grow. Even this year, we had a couple more acquisitions. Uh, GSM acquired Bash Gaming, uh, I would say finally. Um, Caesars acquires Playtika Interactive, and Valley's acquires Dragonfly. Um, Cross platform consumer expectations also continue to go, and now expect the game that they play to be available <coughs> across all the platforms. Um, they expect to be able to play online at work on their PC and collect some bonus chips and then go home in front of their couch at night and sit there while their husband's watching TV and play with those chips. Production values are also continuing to rise. Um, we saw IGT uh, license wheels, Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy, um, and brands are continuing to be important. So they license those for use across uh, their various platforms and business models. Um, Columbia received their investment from Endemol and will likely be using uh, Endemol IP within their games soon. Um, you'll start seeing production values increase and increase. Even, you know, we had a very successful TV commercial in the US this year, so even, even production values for ads are getting higher and higher. But that brings me to a quick, uh, I just want to give you a teaser. We're taking all of that and we're, we're thinking about that in game as well. Um, as we move forward and as production values rise, um, it's really important to, and so does the cost of development and operations and keeping, keeping all of this running and growing. Um, so it's important to critically focus on what's important to your players so you, you can apply you know, the resources you have to the right areas. We have a deep experience in, in business intelligence at Big Fish, and we're using that to craft high quality, new experiences customized to our users' taste. Uh, so here's a quick teaser of what you can see from us. gets more competitive, um, you know, you have to know who your players are and, and use that to carve the decisions that you make and, and how you decide to go forward. Uh, so looking towards the future, last year at this conference I talked a lot about how social casinos were creating entertainment experiences for players and how those entertainment experiences were more meaningful with friends. This year it's also important to recognize the tension and effort it takes to continue to grow and evolve that entertainment experience and keep up with the growing market. Constant iteration and improvement is key. There is no rest, and it takes an incredibly talented team to keep focusing and driving through that. Um, last year, I also mentioned that we're incredibly focused on mobile and believe that mobile is the future. This year, it seems even more clear than, uh, than ever. So I want to do a quick shout out to Superdata for supplying me with all this great data uh, for the presentation. But um, they're expecting that uh, mobile revenues continue to rise um, and surpass PC. Um, and that will continue to see double growth, digit growth in that market. Big Fish Casino saw 250% growth last year, which outpaced the market by 60%. Um, but as the market size increases, so does competition, and, and we've been hearing that all day, so I won't harp on it too much. But the key to really surviving and thriving through that is focusing on uh, retaining and engaging the players you have and continuing to um, provide them with an entertainment experience that keeps them um, around it and develops them through their life cycle. So this is the secret to not only surviving, but to thriving. And just to recap how far we've come, I want to do a quick look at um, the top grossing social casino apps in the App Store in 2012 um, versus the top grossing social casino apps today. And if you want to be in this list in 2016, long-term player attention is going to be the key. Um, we acquired, or sorry, we acquired so, uh, Cell Board Games in 2012, um, and we've achieved a 40% lift in day one retention since we acquired them and a 66% lift in longer term attention. 
In the process of achieving this growth, we've learned a few key lessons. Lean forward and take risks. Be unique. Know when to double down. The pun was intended there, really. <laughs> iterate, 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 and focus on your players. And these can help as we head into the next four years. experience in the UK and uh, are you still there and what, what did you learn there? Sure, so, so we actually um, are not there, well we're still there at Big Fish Casino, okay. uh, we don't have the real money gaming option okay. available to UK players anymore. Um, it was to us uh, a great learning experience but ultimately you know, we saw our strengths and um, just where we want to continue to invest to be on the social side. Okay. Yeah. Do you see the advertising? Yeah, um, the answer is we have some very detailed proprietary ways of doing that. Um, so we are able to do it, but it's, it's kind of a little bit of our secret BI sauce. Yeah. Hey, uh, how much of a lift did you see when, uh, when Big Fish came in and uh, all the cross promo opportunities? Obviously, you probably got a big lift in the UAE right from that. Is, has that been a major part of the success formula? Or was that just a nice Uh, it was an add-on to our So there's a lot of different uh, games you can play in Big Fish Casino. Table games, poker, slots. How do you see your players split 
Um, so we see, uh, you know, that the players who play across multiple games are our most valuable, and most engaged players. Um, so that's that's kind of the, the high level. Uh, you know, some players play a certain set. Like some players might concentrate more to uh, card games. So we'll see, you know, people that like to play for blackjack. Um, we'll see some slot players, and then there's sort of mixes of clusters between that. Do you think there'll be more growth in table games or slot? Um, I think just given the way that she's going, that slots will continue to, to be a focus. So, now that you've retired the, the uh, cash games from the UK, do you have uh, a strategy for a general global strategy for your consumer business? A, a global strategy? Sorry. Yeah. But I think you're asking if we have a global strategy and how we approach our social casino business. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, yeah. I mean, we're we're focused on scaling the game the uh, game across uh, multiple geographies, and so we we are constantly looking at how um, we perform in various countries and scale more appropriate. Um, for your uh, for your slot machine, for your slot game, how many slot uh, how many slots do you launch with, and uh, how far do you need to go that? Um, I think it depends a little bit on the, the game and the longevity of the slot machines that you're putting out. Um, so I've seen uh, games go anywhere from every two weeks, which I think is, um, you'll need a lot of content to keep up with that velocity. Um, if you're able to have a game that's a little bit stickier with your players and has a longer lifespan, then you can um, do something that's more uh, along the lines of every month or every six weeks, but I think having regular new content is really important. That's why you see slot machines that have multiple, or uh, slot games that have multiple slot machines, and why someone like Slotomania and Double Down have, you know, 50 plus. Any other questions? Drinks? Oh, one more in the back. Um, we integrated it on our e-commerce platform, and I'm sorry, I don't have any of the data of how that's gone. Um, it wasn't directly within the Casino, you know, it was within the Casino. Already today?